I think it's important to note that oracles and decentralized oracle networks are really more um, a complement and an enabling technology for blockchains than um, some kind of full replacement. So the, the way that I see this is that the on-chain contract holds value, releases that value, creates transparency about the state of the contract, maybe defines key conditions uh, that the contract needs to meet, possibly like you know what we put together with Mixicals or other, or other similar um, constructions of these kinds of uh, hybrid smart contracts. But the Oracle is responsible for all of these other basically decentralized services. And I, I think it is fascinating all the things that you can build with the additional decentralized services provided by decentralized Oracle networks. But I think they're useful as far as there are smart contracts on various chains that need them. And so I think there's this very important complementary relationship where the on-chain code has its very well-defined and clear and very important and uh, irreplaceable role. And I think the addition of decentralized services to that core code kind of can, can help that core code actually go to the next level, secure more value, do more useful things for, for the world's users, which is, which is what I think we're all excited about as, as co-authors on this paper and as people working on decentralized oracles and, and chain link and so on.